okay today viewers we want to show you how to how to win a fight with the targeted points what i'm saying is how you can target a particular point to weaken an opponent even in the case of scrubbing in a fight well i see as we go on you're going to understand more of this explanation the first time as please i want to remind you do not forget subscribe and hit the bell and also we're waiting for your comments okay now this is what i'm really talking about now it is not a case of spacing we are close together we are struggling together now we are here struggling Just trying to lift trying to throw now what i am looking for i'm looking for how to hit a point to hit that will bring him or weaken him I'll get him down. Now this side and located a point. I say okay, the rip is open. And I'll go ay, 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 ay. Consistency. No matter how we're struggling, I located that point and I consistently concentrate on the striking of that very point, which at the end of the day we can see and it goes down. So <coughs> it might not be easy somehow, but somehow it might also be easy. If you are quick to have or to spot a spot like that, then make that decision. Once you've gotten that point or that spot, forget of whatever is doing. Just let your concentration be there. Pam, 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 pam. No matter the number of strikes, finally he will go down. Okay, that's one. Now we're going to work on another spot too. Okay, now let's see. <clears throat> now we are back again. The same scrambling. Now pick up again. From here, scramble and scramble and scramble. The next thing, so what will I even do? Now I realize somewhere is open. I go one. I go two. I go three. Boom. 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 Consistent strike on a particular spot will end up this way. Okay? Now, probably, maybe we'll take one more to show the game. Now, come back. Now, before we take another one, let's elaborate more on this last one. Now, grab. Fine. Now, a bit lighter. From here. I realized I look for spot I can I couldn't find. Now I realize okay, my leg is free here, and there's an opening here that can give me free access. Now what do I do? And I have a good posture for this. I stretch, boom, one I go, boom, I go like that. No matter how he tries to resist, as far as this, the strike is landing. He will not be able to resist for too long. Until finally he will go up. Okay. Probably we are able to make that point clear. But the emphasis is if you are applying this technique, you have to be consistent. One particular point. Do not take this. Come back. Do not take this. At the first point, you go one. There was no response. At the next point, you go two. No response. And you start looking for another point again. No. Maintain one particular point. Strike and strike and strike. He will respond. 
All right. Okay, let's take more points again. Now let's go down. All right. Now from here, as usual, rumble and rumble and rumble and rumble and rumble. You take time. It might it might take time for you to actually be able to to get the actual points you are looking for. Why? Because of the staggering and staggering. And one point you should know that the moment your head is shaking, it affects your stability of mind. And you won't be able to think and come out with something reasonable at that point because your head is shaking. The stability of your mindset, of your thinking ability is shaking. So with this, it might take you some time to actually come to a conclusion of which point that is open for you to take your targeted and consistent strike. All right, let's say finally, I now decide, okay, the back is open. And what do I do? My hands are free from the top here. Now I press him down the more, and now I take this strike. One, I take it again, I take it again, I take it again, and I take it again. Now, no matter what, he must release his grip. From here, ah, and he goes down. Now come up. Now let me show. That elbow strike has two faces. If you see very well, you can notice one face I use. And I'm going to use the two faces. This is one, and this is two. They both have different points or different devastating points or effect on the opponent. This one, I am trying to be careful not to affect his spinal cord. I will only hit and he will feel the pressure throw out the back and the spinal cord until he frees the grip. But if I use this, wonderful. Just a strike, he will release the grip because this one goes straight to the spine. And unfortunately, unfortunately, it might end up dislocating the spine. The point of the elbow here is actually penetrating the middle bone of the spine, the center bone, because the spine is like the spring. Joint, 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 and joint. Now, when this one enters into the center, it separates them. And what happens? Ah, there's a dislodge there, and it could cause crack. And what happens? Dislocation. At the end of the day, you realize that ah, this person cannot walk again because the spinal cord is broken. So those are the two points of elbow strike you need to understand. In case somebody wants to strike an elbow strike and in your mind you do not really want to get this person so injured to that extent of putting him on a wheelchair, you should know what to do. <clears throat> not you actually do not want to put him on a wheelchair but you take a technique which you do not really understand the effectiveness of the technique you strike your direct elbow bam there now you succeed to put him on a wheelchair but at the end of the day since that was not your initial intention you might cry because you never wanted to put this person on a wheelchair but unfortunately you struck a technique that you do not really understand how effective it is or it could be on the point you are attacking so please, let's take note. Pam there. It's deadly. No matter what, no matter how strong the grip could be, pam, one, he goes. He will drop. If he allows you to take that strike twice, then he does not love himself. So once the thing drops there and the shock runs through his spine, he will free you immediately. Perhaps he might be lucky that the first strike did not really cause too much damage. So he might be lucky. But if he allows you to take that same strike twice, he's a foolish person. Now, let's take the last but not the least. Another aspect, another point. 
I have so many points. Now, probably, we go the rumbling and the rumbling and the rumbling and the rumbling. Now, I found a point of strike. I notice what happens at the back. The back is free. My elbows are free. Or I decide to go double strike here, double strike here, double strike, double strike, like that. as simple as that. These two strikes goes, of course, one side, you know, where the kidney is located. So you are striking the kidney and you are striking the other side as well, all at the same time. So no matter what or no matter how long, he must be weakened. Okay? Because first, the truth is, the first strike will send a message to him though he might not loosen the grip at first fully but as to tell you the truth the first strike the grip will weaken a bit strike again it weakens strike again it weakens it's only proving hard otherwise he would have weak he would have released the grip at the first strike but he's trying to prove strong so but the reality is as far as the first strike had landed the grip freeze a little bit grip freeze as you're striking until you finally give up once the, the grip is loosened he has given up and is down so our viewers want to intimate you once again first timers to stay on subscription hit the bell and then we're waiting to get your response